Hello there. Today we're going to be looking at all of the rares, their locations and drops inside of Duswallow Marsh. This zone is actually quite big for rares, there are 10 rares in total in this zone, so I'm going to try and get through this video as quick as possible for you. So without further ado, let's crack on with it. Drogoth the Roma First up we have Drogoth the Roma, a level 37 elemental that roams around just to the northeast of Brackenmoor village. This guy looks very similar to the other marsh elementals in the area, so he may be quite hard to spot, and yeah there's not really anything special about this guy. If you're in combat with him for a while he will do an AoE stun, but that's about it. Killing him will give you a random green and nothing else. Not a lot of HP, not hard to kill. Burgle Eye Up next we have Burgoli, a level 38 murloc that hangs around on the largest island to the north of Duswallow Marsh. The islands are found in between the Barrens and Duswallow Marsh and to be fair you could probably access them from either. If you're going from Duswallow though you are going to have a bit of a pain because there's a huge load of cliffs on the north. So just bear that in mind. Burgoli is pretty easy to spot because of his colours, he doesn't look like any of the other murlocs in the area. But please do be aware that he is normally surrounded by two or three others. There's nothing particularly special about this guy, and killing him will give you just a random green. Dart. Up next we have Dart, a level 38 raptor that hangs around in the northwest of Witch Hill. Now Dart used to be pretty special as at some point uh, in WoW's history he did actually give you a little companion that you could use. Unfortunately in vanilla or classic this wasn't the case and killing him will just give you a random green, unfortunately. Rip scale. Up next we have Ripscale, a level 39 crocodile that hangs around in the quagmire just to the southeast of Tabitha's hut. You have to be careful when you're in this area of the quagmire as it's really weird, Ripscale is not an elite but everything else is an elite. There's not actually anything difficult about this guy but you need to watch out for the other crocolisks in the area because they can pack quite a punch. Killing this guy will just give you a random green. Dark Mist Widow. Up next we have Dark Mist Widow, a level 40 spider that lives inside of Dark Mist Cavern. Dark Mist Cavern is just to the north of Brackenmore Village. I think you have to go in here for a couple of quests, so I, I would just kind of check in here when you actually have to go in for a quest. But anyway, getting through the cavern can be quite hard because all of the spiders actually do poison you, and Dark Miss Widow is no exception herself. One of the problems with Dark Miss Widow is actually when you can you kill her, she will also spawn loads of little spiderlings as well. Actually did quite a lot of damage to me, you definitely need to be careful with this one. And to be fair, like I wouldn't go out of your way for her, I would just, if she's there, kill her, if she isn't, you know, don't bother. Killing her will just give you a random green, unfortunately. Hayok. Up next we have Hayok, a level 41 wind serpent that lives in the cliffs just south of Beazle's wreck. Hayok is really easy to spot, I think he's the only cloud serpent in the area, 
Uh, and you need to be really careful, actually. I took loads of damage when fighting this guy. I'm not really sure where all the damage was coming from. I'm not sure if he's slightly resistant to magic or he just has loads of health. But yeah, I did just take a lot of damage, so you definitely need to be careful. And the worst bit is, if you kill him, you just get a random green. So it's not like the challenge actually gives you any decent reward. Ooze Worm. Our seventh threat in Dustwallow Marsh is Oozeworm, just to the east of the Den of Flame. And I believe, and I'm sure someone will correct me, maybe the only worm in Dustwallow Marsh. And he's really cool looking as well, actually. I think he's got a really unique model. It's like, like green eyes and everything. Anyway, nothing really particularly special about this guy. He just kind of attacks, and he's just on a hill. It's really weird. I'm not actually even sure why he's here, but, you know... More greens can't hurt, and that's exactly what this guy drops. Kill him, and you will get a random green. The Rot. Up next we have the Rot, a level 44 ooze that hangs around directly to the south of Bezel's Wreck, but just north of where Hayok is. This guy was an absolute pain in the arse to find because he looks a lot like some of the other slimes in the area, and he just blends in so well with the environment. So yeah, this was so frustrating to actually find this guy, and having the in like forward slash target doesn't work very well either. Anyway, regardless, he does a little bit of damage, and killing him will give you a random green. Lord Angler. Up next we have Lord Angler, a level 44 Makura that hangs around to the east of Stonewall Ruins to the north of Wormbog in the little bay area where the sunken ship is. I believe this is kind of near to where Nat Pagel is as well, so I, I could be wrong but I'm pretty sure Nat Pagel's around here somewhere. This guy is normally surrounded by other Makura so he can be a bit of a pain to fight and his damage is not too bad. One thing to note, on some classic sites this guy is listed as like a 48 or a 44 Elite or whatever. Um, from my thing, he's just a regular 44 with a bit of armor, so... Oh, and he drops a random green as well, so that's nice. Brimgore. And last but not least, our 10th rare in Dustweller Marsh is Brimgore, a level 45 elite black dragon that hangs around on the ridge south of the Wormbog. He patrols all the way up and down the ridge, so make sure you get a good look to see if he's there. And yeah, this guy is a classic case of bark worse than his bite. He's not actually that hard to fight at all, it's just he has a fair bit of health. He's really slow, so he's kiteable by most classes. His flame breath does practically no damage, and the only thing you have to worry about is the whelplings nearby. So yeah, he's really, really easy to kill. But he has amazing loot. It starts with R, and it ends with green. Yep, that's right, this guy actually drops just random greens, he has no unique loot whatsoever. But you know, this is Dustwallow Marsh, the zone everybody forgets about, including the developers apparently. So if you are actually bored and crazy enough to go and hunt down all 10 of these random greens, I mean rares, in Dustwallow Marsh, uh, here is a map to all of their locations, as you can see there is a great big gulf in the middle where they ran out of ideas for swamp based creatures, but nevertheless, here is the map, and there is a link to the imager in the description below. So once again, that is all 10 rares, the locations, and loot inside of Dustwallow Marsh. Overall, this zone is garbage. Um, <laughs> I always thought the zone was garbage, but it was on the list it needed doing, so, you know, there's that. Just to make you aware, I am also streaming now semi-regularly on Twitch, Mixer, and YouTube, so... Be sure, if you're into that sort of thing, to just hop on by. I don't really have a lot of people in the channel, so it's really easy to chat to me if you want to talk or 
literally about anything, it doesn't have to be WoW related. I've had some really amazing conversations with some of my subscribers, so thanks for supporting me so far, and I'll see you next time.